So a lot, a classic thing to try to get your head around with these kinds of questions is, is what even is a mole in the first place? So we know, a lot of you probably know that um, a mole of, so one mole of, of uh, let me say, let me, let me just think about this, um, of aluminium is, is 27 grams because you just look at the periodic table and you read it off the mass number. If it was a formula, then you would calculate the number of atoms in that thing and the molecule and so on. But what is? But still, that doesn't that just tells us how to calculate it. It doesn't tell us what it is. A mole of anything, anything at all, is always six point zero two times ten to the twenty three atoms, or possibly molecules. Well, yeah, I'll just. That's a bit. I'm just gonna. I won't go into it right now. But I'll just say, careful with this definition because when you talk about ionic compounds, there's something a bit um, weird there. So anyway, but we're going to gloss over that. Say so the um, a mole is just that much of something. So if I say a mole of iron, I mean that many iron atoms. So I mean this many iron atoms. If I say a mole of oxygen, I don't mean that many oxygen atoms because oxygen doesn't act as atoms. Oxygen goes around in molecules. So so, um, so if we look at oxygen, it's going to have 16 and, oops, it's going to have 16 and 8. So the molar mass is not 16, the molar mass is 32. And it's a bit easier to understand. The reason why it gets confusing is when we're when you're looking at elements, you just think, okay, oxygen's an element, so I look at the periodic table and I just read it off. If I told you what was the molar mass of water, you wouldn't do that because water's not on the periodic table. So you would go, oh, H2O. So molar mass of hydrogen is one. We've got two of those, so it's going to be one times two. And then you've got one oxygen, so you're going to add it to 16. So... In the same way that you're going to, uh, when you do the molar mass of water, you do exactly the same method for a molar mass of oxygen. Despite the fact that oxygen happens to be on a periodic table, oxygen molecule is not on the periodic table, only oxygen atoms. So you use the same, same principle as you would if you were working out water. You go 16 times 2. So that's 32. And the other one is 18 grams, of course. We're, doing, we're working out molar mass. So just to just to confirm, that's the molar mass. So one mole of water is 18 grams. One mole of oxygen is 32 grams. And also, just to return back to this number here, it means if I had 6 times uh, 6 times 02, 6 point oh two times 10 to the 23 hydro, oh, sorry, water molecules, they would all together weigh 18 grams. And if I had that many, the same number of oxygen molecules and put them on a scale, they would all together weigh 32 grams. So that's what a mole means. It always just means this many, this many of something. Okay.